Hey everyone, I'm Layla Milani. I am the founder of Layla Milani Hair and today I'm going to give you guys a short tutorial. It might be a little bit of a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to achieve my look. So I have everything laid out here, everything in my line that I carry and that I actually use on my hair to achieve my look. And I'm going to start off with the Miracle Brush. Now what's really wonderful about this brush is that it's a combination of boar hair and nylon bristles, which is not only gentle on your scalp, um, I actually use this on my daughter's hair, but it's also strong enough to get the biggest knots out of my hair. And I have a lot of hair and I use this all the time. Just brush all your hair out, get all the knots out. What's wonderful about the Miracle Brush too is that not only does it detangle your hair, but it also creates fullness and shine at the same time. And then what I like to use is a little bit of my No H2O Dry Shampoo, which first of all, I don't think, you know, I don't wash my hair every single day and I don't think most people should unless you have super oily hair because that dries out your hair, it, you know, your color won't last as long. So what I do in between washing because I don't want my hair to smell bad or, you know, have all the buildup is my No H2O Dry Shampoo. This is a light dry shampoo that cleans your hair as well as it leaves a really nice fresh scent. Okay, so just kind of let that work in your hair. Now my next step is my Glossy Lux Shine Spray, which I use either before I style my hair or after. It's really up to you. Um, what's really great about this is that it, it gives you the shine, but it's also a thermal spray. Now, if your hair is kind of hard to hold, I would suggest that you don't use this before you curl your hair. You can use a little bit of it after you curl your hair just to kind of get that real shine benefit from it. So in my case, um, I'm gonna wait and do it after. If you do have hard to curl hair, I recommend using my Hold It Right There hairspray, which is a three level hairspray. It's got three different levels of hold, and all you do is you turn the nozzle, and you can decide what level of hold you're gonna want. So in my case, I'm gonna just put it on medium. And my hair is not hard to curl at all, so I will hold off on using the spray until after I finish styling my hair. Okay, so now we're ready to curl our hair, and um, what I'm gonna use is my gator grips, which are my two new alligator clips. And I love these not only because they are so pretty to look at, because they're my favorite color, but they're actually really sturdy clips and hold your hair. So start off by sectioning your hair. Okay, take everything back. Okay, see? That just holds all my hair back. Now, I like to start off by curling the bottoms of my hair and working my hair up. Brush your hair out again. And now we're ready to curl. The triple threat is my go-to styling iron. It's the only thing I use really to curl my hair. I mean, I've been using this for years and years and I'm so excited to finally have this out and have so many people um, who have purchased this love this so much and you can actually read some of my reviews on the website um, that people just kind of swear by this product. What it is, it's a three in one curling iron. So you're not only getting one curling iron, but you're getting three because it has two other interchangeable barrels that come with this curling iron. And the sizes are, the first one is the three quarter inch, which is the smallest size, and then the one inch, which is this one that's already attached, and the one and a quarter inch. Most of the time I use this one on my hair because I just like sort of a soft wave look, but if you want really defined curls that are gonna last you for days, and I'm, I mean that days, use this one. Curl your hair and these curls will last you at least a couple of days. And it's actually, it, it looks even better like on day two, day three. So your triple threat also comes with a safety glove, which is a wonderful um, protecting glove that you will use um, when you are curling your hair because you do not want to burn your finger or burn your hand. That's not good. So put on the safety glove, take a small section of your hair about two inches, I would say. Brush it out if you need to. Now again, if, you are, if your hair is easy to curl, 
then I would suggest using a little bit of the Glossy Lux spray before you curl your hair. If it's hard to curl, I would recommend using the Hold It Right There hairspray or any other hairspray that you love prior to curling your hair to make it really curl. All right, so you're gonna take a small section of your hair about one to two inches, grab your curling iron, point it down, wrap your hair around the barrel, never overlapping your hair because you want the curls to be even and just hold for 10 seconds. And there's your first curl. Isn't that pretty? Take another small section of your hair, brush it out. Now I have my curling iron set to 430 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the maximum heat that you will get from this. But you know, anywhere you can choose what level of heat you want. I just like, you know, the hotter the better because I like to get my curls faster. Okay, so the bottom of my hair is finished now. And now I'm going to release my hair and grab another section of hair. So now I'm going to start off with the top portion of my hair. And change the glove to this hand. Now you don't have to always wear the glove, but I mean we do recommend it because we don't want you to burn yourself. But as time goes on and you get really comfortable with the triple thread, you may just opt out of the glove. Um, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm gonna wear it because I wanna set a good example for everybody. Okay, so one side of my hair is curled all the way. And now I'm going to finish off with this side of my hair. Okay, so all my hair is curled. I'm just going to look through if there's any pieces that I might have missed or they're not perfect. I just go back in and Recurl it real quick. So some of the hair you will curl backwards and some of the hair you can curl forward. So whatever is your preference. So my hair is now all curled, as you can see. And now I'm going to show you my Big Hair Don't Care, which is my fairy dust in a bottle. It's a product that I created to give women of all hair types just more volume and people that have this swear by it. It's truly a revolutionary product and it's something that I'm super proud of. So all it is, it's a fine powder that goes on invisible in your hair. So if you have jet black hair or if you have platinum blonde hair, you will not see this in your hair. And when you first get it, it's a you know really tiny bottle, I mean that big, and it weighs almost nothing. So you need very little of this powder to achieve the fullness that you desire. So a little bit goes a long way. And people always ask me, you know, can I, should I use this before or after I style? You can really do it either way. You can either do it before you style your hair or you can do it after you style your hair. But what is important is that you do not use this on wet hair because you will not get the fullness benefits. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle this in my hair wherever I want the fullness. So most people want the fullness either in their bangs or in the crown area. I'm, that's exactly where I apply this product. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the powder and remember, a little bit goes a long way. So do not use too much because then your hair is gonna get overly sticky and kind of greasy and you don't want that. So very little amount, I mean, not very much at all. I'm gonna sprinkle some in my bangs. Now you might see the powder right now, but it's going to dissolve invisibly, so you're not even gonna see this in a few seconds. I'm gonna put some in my crown area. So kind of like, you know, sprinkling salt in your hair. And then all you do is you move your hair around and the product molds in with your hair. That's really the beauty of this product, is that you don't need to do much, but just kind of, you know, run your fingers through your hair and the product just works itself. 
Now, I like to sometimes put a little bit right in here and right in here. And again, with my fingers, just kind of mold the product into my hair. Now, if you want more fullness, I recommend you use my Big Tees comb, which is this comb right here. It's a rat tail comb that's made of carbon material. It will never break or shatter, and it's heat resistant. So what I do is I take a little bit of my bangs, just tease the area real quick, and just do a little bit in my crown. So again, you can use the big hair don't care before you style your hair or after. So that means you can do it before your tease or after, but I recommend doing it before. work your fingers through your hair and voila and just finish off with a little bit of glossy lock spray to give your hair some shine and last but not least my hold it right there hairspray I have set it to the medium hold And one last trick that I do is I flip my hair over and scrunch up a little bit. And ta-da! Now if you look at your hair, you see there's some curls that still need to be touched up. You can totally do that. And here you go, the Leila Milani hair tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it.